Hi, I'm Bonnie Barker with BonnieBayCrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how you can make some Christmas tree garland. This is a free pattern available on RedHeart.com and if you put in the little search bar at the top, Christmas tree garland, this picture should come up. Um, so if you want to get that written pattern, you can go right over there to Red Heart and RedHeart.com and pick up that free pattern. Okay, so today I'm going to be using a size J or 10 crochet hook. I'm going to be using some worsted weight yarn. I'm going to be using Red Heart Super Saver in colors, um, I believe it's called Lettuce, which is the light green color I'm using, and I think the other is called Berry. On, on this red. If you don't have that available, feel free to use any yarn that you may have. Of course, if you use the thinner yarn, you're going to get a smaller piece of garland. If you use thicker, you'll get a, a little bit fatter piece. And just make sure that you use the appropriate size hook to match the yarn that you choose. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and start with my slip knot. And the first thing I'm going to do is chain 100 and 22 chains. Okay, so go ahead and chain 122 chains. Okay, I finished my 122 chains. Now I should say that um, after we finish this, we will have a piece of garland that will measure approximately 38 inches. So if you want to double or even triple that amount, you have two options. You can just do the 38 inch piece that we're gonna do now, or you can go ahead and triple or double the size of the starting chain and just do it all in one piece. It's really up to you. The 38 inch pieces are kind of nice in that you can, you know, control the drape a little bit more and they are easier to decorate the tree, but it's up to you what you want to do. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do for row one, this is going to be the right side facing, we're going to work a single crochet in the second chain from hook. We're going to skip the next two chains and in the next stitch or in the next chain, we're going to work three double crochets, a pico, and three more double crochets. So we're going to skip these two and we're going to work three double crochets. It's one, two, three. Okay, for the little pico, we're going to chain three. And then we're going to work a slip stitch in the top of the last double crochet we made. Just a slip stitch like so. And then we're going to work three more double crochets in that same, same chain. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now we're going to skip two, one, two, and we're going to single crochet the next stitch. Now we're going to do this all the way across. We're going to skip two and in the next chain we're going to work our three double crochets. It's one, two, three. Now for the pico we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to work a slip stitch in the top of the double crochet just like so. And then three more double crochets in the same chain. Skip the next two and then single crochet. I'm going to do that one more time just to make sure we get this right. Okay, skip two and we're going to double crochet three times. One, two, three, chain three, slip stitch like so, and three more double crochets. Okay, I'm going to work that all the way, all the way across. Okay, at the end of row one, this is what you should have. You should have 20 shells with the pico at the top right there. Okay, 
So if and if it's a little bit curly like mine is, don't don't worry about that just yet because we have a couple more rows to do and that's going to settle that out. Okay. So now we're going to turn this direction. We're, we're still have the front side facing, and I'm going to single crochet along the other side of the foundation chain, and we're going to do two single crochets right like that. Now I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm going to pull this stitch out just halfway. So I'm just about ready to complete this single crochet. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to complete it using, I can find it here, the berry color. Okay, the red. This is going to be our little, little holly berry. And I pull that through. And now I'm going to be working, I'm actually getting a little confused here. Okay, here we go. A lot of strands. Okay, so I'm going to work this berry right in the same opening right here in the hole. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to work over. I'm going to work, work over the green strand. Okay, the green strand that was connected to the stitch here. I'm going to just crochet over that. That's two. Well, that's, let me try that again. It's the wrong stitch. So we're going to do four single crochets. I've already done one. That's two, three, and four. Now before I bring up the uh, stitch to finish this fourth stitch out, I'm going to bring up the green just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to the first stitch of the, the, the uh, cluster or the popcorn and I'm going to pull this thread through and that should tighten up that popcorn, give it a chain. And I'm going to go ahead and give this this red stitch a little bit of a tug. Now I'm going to work four chains and as I do that, I'm sorry, four single crochet over the chains and as I do that I'm going to crochet over the red strand. Okay, one, two, three, and here's the fourth stitch. This is where I change colors and I'm going to pick up the red to finish that fourth stitch. Now crocheting over this stitch as I complete the popcorn. I'm going to do that with four single crochets in the same place. One, two, three, coming up on the fourth one. I'm going to go ahead and change yarns, four, pull up that stitch, go back to the first one, and then I'm going to grab the loop and then pull it through and give it a chain. Now I'm going to be crocheting the four single crochets again over the red thread. One, two, three, and the fourth stitch is where we do our yarn change again. Pull the red one through. And you can give that little green, little green thread where to go. A little bit of a tug. And we're going to work over the green thread as we work these berries. So four single crochet. One, two, three, and here comes the fourth stitch in which we change colors again. Okay, pull that up a little bit. Stick your hook in the first stitch of the four popcorn cluster. And grab that strand, pull it through, give it a chain, and just continue this all the way across. And we work four more single crochets working over the red stitch, or I'm sorry, the red thread to three and fourth one change again okay this will be the last one I work for you in in this in this video at least okay so now we're going to work four more for the popcorn four single crochets three and the fourth one Up a 
loop, insert your hook, and pull that through, give it a chain, and four more single crochets in that foundation chain. So go ahead and do this all the way across. Okay, I've worked this all the way across to the end. Now I'm going to only, I'm going to do the last two chains. One, two, in the foundation chain. And so this is what you should have. Okay, let me show you the back to show you how it looks when you carry the thread along. It's really kind of nice because you don't have a bunch of strands to hide. Okay. So now that I finished those last two single crochets, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to chain one and I'm going to fasten off. I'm going to leave a nice long strand just like so, so that I can use that strand in my yarn needle to hide this later. Now we're going to go all the way to the beginning with the front side facing. We're going to keep that front side facing look. Okay, so now we're going to get ready to join. I'm going to join in this stitch right here on the end. I'm going to join with a slip stitch, just like so, leaving a nice long strand so that it would be easy to hide this later on. Okay, I'm going to single crochet in this place that I joined. Okay, I'm going to skip the next two single crochets and working in the top, which is that green chain one space here. I'm going to go ahead and work my cluster of three double crochets. And chain three for the Pico slip stitch in the top of that last double crochet worked. And then three more double crochets worked in that chain one space. It's a little tight getting them through, but not impossible. Okay, I'm going to skip those two stitches. Going to work a single crochet in the next, skip the next stitch, and we're going to do another cluster at the top of the popcorn of the next stitch. So three double crochets, chain three. This is just the same as what we have done on the other side for row one. Slip stitch in the top of that double crochet, and then three more double crochets. One, two, three, skip two, single crochet, and you're going to continue this all the way across. Okay? So I hope you enjoy this tutorial on the Christmas tree garland. Let me show you one more thing before we go, and that is hiding some of these loose strands. I like to do this in a lot of my videos because quite frankly this was something that I only learned several years ago. I haven't always been doing it this way. I had a much more antiquated, difficult way of hiding my strands and since I learned this it's so much easier. Um, so what I do after I thread the yarn needle is go ahead and run it underneath the stitches. Make sure you're working with the back side facing as you do this. Okay. You don't want to hide them with the front on the front side because there's a good chance that the stitch will or that the thread could show. So I just run it under all of those stitches, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be very secure. Very carefully take my scissors and then cut that loose strand, and so that will be gone forever. We'll be able to see that. Now I have another color here, the red for the berry. You want to be careful with this. You don't want to obviously hide it under the green stitches. You want to try to, to limit that to hiding them under the red stitches. So I'm going to just do that like so. And then give it a little trim. And that thread is gone. Okay, let me show you the front side after doing that. If you enjoyed this video, I just encourage you, if you would, just go ahead and hit that little red subscribe button if you haven't done that already. And that way you won't miss any of the new videos that I have coming 
to you. God bless. Bye-bye.